the definitive diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease can only be made at death, after death at autopsy and the severity scale which is given to the severity of Alzheimer's disease is called the Brock staging. At Mayo we have developed a technique where we can take the MRI scan from a clinical MRI scanner of a patient and assign it a severity score called the structural abnormality index score or the STAN score. The STAN score gives you a scale of severity of Alzheimer's disease. We found that in 101 subjects the before death MRI scan based STAN score predicts the after death BRAC stage which is the gold standard for severity of Alzheimer's disease really well. And we see a great potential for STAN scores. First it could be used for early identification of Alzheimer's disease, for tracking the progression and trying to assess the severity of disease in individual patients and potentially in the future it could also be used to uh, test the efficacy of drugs. It's a new software algorithm which was written here which, which is based on the scans of 200 Alzheimer's disease patients and 200 con normal controls. So we have this, at Mayo we have a large library of MR scans of Alzheimer's disease patients and normal patients and based on that we have developed this algorithm which optimally tries to separate uh, Alzheimer's disease brain from a normal brain. So you have two categories and when a new patient scan comes, it tries to decide which way does it go or where does it lie in between both these groups. It's very important to help individual patients. Softwares like this, systems like this, and based on we could give severity scales to an individual patient and we could say something about where they are along the disease. In the future, we would like to be able to predict if a person is going to convert to Alzheimer's disease or where in the disease does a person lie and try to track the progression of Alzheimer's disease in individual patients. I think the next step would be to validate it more, ma make it more robust so that it works under all, all circumstances. Every not only a single MRI scanner, not the MRI scanners at Mayo, but more generalizable to everything. And pr probably add more scans into it, into our library of 200, we have, right now we have 200 Alzheimer's disease patients and 200 normal patients, probably make the library bigger to generalize to a larger population and do, do more of these validation studies to see if we can get better at predicting. We cannot 100% predict, but right now it's an approximate prediction.